Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net. It is something like 7 or 8 a.m. I'm not sure I've been up all night because Borderlands, the pre-sequel, just came out and I was benchmarking it. These are two AMD cards. Let's get rid of one of those and make it a bit more even. So, uh, I've got a lot of video cards behind me. A lot of them. Let me just emphasize, there are more video cards than I can presently count. It's a bit early, but that's part of it. So we've got a, bit, a 980 Extreme and a 270X right now and a lot of other ones. And what I did was benchmark Borderlands the pre-sequel as I do with every major AAA title launch. Uh, what you need to know is this. The game has very optimized graphic settings. It runs pretty much on every video card. Uh, it's very uninteresting in terms of benchmark performance, but that's okay if you actually want to play the game and play it with high settings because it'll run well. So the 250X is our bottom line card for this benchmark and it is performing at about 60 fps average with ultra settings with max settings 60 fps it's 90 fps when you're playing it at about uh medium settings which is a both of these are things that i configured i configured these settings custom for the benchmark so it should be pretty optimized and i talk about that in the full article link in the description below but the 250x is a 75 to 90 dollar card and it's playing this game at basically playable settings. If you want to play on Ultra with a guaranteed 60 FPS at 1080p, this card is really heavy. <laughs> guaranteed 60 FPS, 1080p, then you're probably going to want to look into the 750 Ti, which, as I've said in every other one of these reviews, it is the best value for gaming. And the 270X is also very good. It's very competitive in price with the 750 Ti. So look between the 270X and the 750Ti. Now with Borderlands, it is optimized specifically for NVIDIA and runs NVIDIA's PhysX. So if you like the explosions and ragdoll effects and things like that, that PhysX gives you an advantage of in Borderlands, you should probably be leaning towards NVIDIA. The effects aren't that huge of a difference. It's not a deal breaker for me. I'd buy whatever fits your budget best and gives you the performance you want, depending on if you're multi-monitor or single monitor, excuse me. But... At the end of the day, for Borderlands, if you're playing single monitor, 1080p, and you want to play on medium settings, you don't care about max, just get either a 250X or a 750, and you're good. You will be able to play that game on medium settings all day long, no problem. If you want to play on basically max settings, sans uh, 16X AF, I set it to 8X and anisotropic filtering, You'll probably want the 750Ti or the 270X. Anything above that is way overkill and in the hundreds of FPS, as you can see in the benchmark. So uh, that's really all I have to say about the Borderlands benchmark. Check the link in the description below for full details, and I will see you all next time. Peace.